Live City family, what is up? It is Rose Honey and Daddy back at Costco. We have Rose's grocery cart. We're about to do another shop along and recipe because it's lunchtime very soon. And we're gonna walk around and get all the ingredients we need to make tuna melt sandwiches because it's one of our favorite things to make lately. We've been doing a lot on stories and also very exciting. Show what's in your cart, Rosie. This protein, the Flav City protein smoothie came out this week and it's been a runaway success. I'll tell you about it in a couple minutes, but grab a bag on shopflavcity.com. I'll leave the link down below. You want some snacks? All right, we're getting snacks. Let's go, Rosie. Come on. Come on. All right, if we're making tuna salad, we need tuna. And Rosie, yes, Rosie's getting the best one. Throw that in your cart, Rosie. Now, this is very, boom, this is very important. The kind of tuna we use to make tuna salad is important because if you get albacore tuna, and this is a good brand, Wild Planet, albacore is a large fish. Yes, Rosie. Is that albacore tuna is a big fish. Now, if you have your choice between a big tuna and a small, tiny one, what do you choose? I like tuna. <laughs> you want the tiny one because bigger fish have higher levels of mercury. And unfortunately, albacore is a big tuna. Now, chunk light or skipjack is good too, but I'm not a huge fan of the quality of this one. The one Rosie got over here, Rose, is one of the only ones on the market. That is a big fish, the ahi yellowfin tuna, but, oh my gosh, it's being discontinued. It's a great Price. But look what it says right here, Rosie. It says safe catch. Every tuna mercury tested and it's pregnancy safe. These are the only guys, Rose, on the market I know that do that. Otherwise, I would get Chunk Light or Skipjack, but at Costco. I got one. You got it, right? All right, let's move on. We got our tuna. Let's go get something else. <laughs> She's a Costco expert. <laughs> Leilani's been sidetracked by the margarita mix there. No, no, no. I Oh, you're checking sugar content. They don't even list it. They don't list ingredients for alcohol, which is super scary. Okay, Rose, we need cheese for our tuna mint salad. Hmm, where's the good cheese, says Rosie. Well, this is the best cheese we can do. We talk about it a lot. Dubliner, here you go, Rose, honey. This is gonna be great to put on top of our tuna melt sandwich before it goes on the griddle. First of all, the price per pound is loco en la cabeza. Second of all, it's milk from grass-fed cows. It's 80% grass-fed. It's about the best you can do. What's that? I have to go pee-pee. You have to go pee-pee. This is becoming a tradition in every video. And we'll be back. Yeah, it's right. The cold section maybe brings it on here. BRB. We have entered the protein aisle because I got to give a shout out to what Rose is sitting next to. This. My Flav City protein smoothie dropped two weeks ago. It's sold out in 72 hours and we just got more back in stock. This is a game changer because most proteins on the market are not Bobby approved. This is not just a protein powder. It's a protein with all the smoothie ingredients in here. So I took my post-workout smoothie and powderized every single ingredient like grass-fed collagen, peanut butter powder, uh, coconut milk powder, cocoa powder, and the whey protein is 100% grass-fed, non-denatured whey. We're calling it fart-free protein because the lactose isn't scorched. It's cold-pressed. It's 25 grams of protein. But you never have to use the blender again. That's the difference. You just add it to a shaker cup with 12 ounces of milk of choice or even water, and it works great. And if you compare it to any kind of shake on the market, people love Premier Protein because there's 30 grams of protein. But listen, when you read the ingredients, sure the milk protein is GMO. That's the least of the problems. You have processed inflammatory sun oil, sunflower oil. You have artificial flavors, which is prevalent in a lot of proteins. Gums emulsifiers, fake sugar su sucralose, and carrageenan emulsifier. That's par for the course. None of that garbage is in here, and it's creamy and rich, just like a Premier Protein with none of the garbage. So if you're in the market for a protein shake smoothie, try it. You never have to use your blender again. The flavor, I think, is like a chocolate milkshake. Rose says it's like chocolate chip cookies. Grab some on shopflavcity.com. Like Say it again. It's like chocolate chip cookies and the texture is great. Grab some on Shop Flav City. Use the link down below. The reviews are great so far, so thank you. We need mayonnaise for our tuna salad. I think it's all the way down here. Oh, here we go, Rose. There you go. Reach up there on your tippy toes. Can you get it? Oh, let's see. Oh, here we go. There you go, sister. We get the avocado oil mayonnaise. You want to do another one? Okay, let me just tell people why we're getting this. And the reason why is, first of all, for 
best-in-class avocado oil mayonnaise. Chosen foods, some on the West Coast have Primal Kitchen. The price is half of any other grocery store. Now, per ounce, it's still more expensive. Oh my God, it's on sale. It's more expensive than Hellman's, which when you bring out the Hellman's, you bring out the best. The thing is, Rosie, read the ingredients here, Rose, with Daddy. Look at this. Hello? <laughs> What's the first ingredient there? Soybean oil. Yeah. Is soybean oil good? Yeah. No. no. Soybean oil is bad. It's GMO, highly processed inflammatory soybean oil with sugar, natural flavors, and calcium disodium EDTA, which masks rancid flavors. So listen, yes, it's a little more expensive, but the price at Costco is legit. And this is made with heart healthy, non inflammatory avocado oil. No sugar, no natural flavors. It's going to make the best, most Bobby approved tuna salad. Okay, Rose, let's get the next ingredient. I just had an idea, and by no means is it traditional, but Rose, what if we put a little bit of, what if we put a little bit of prosciutto in the tuna melt sandwich? Should we do that? Yeah. Okay, we'll make it a... I know you like prosciutto. Oh yeah, Rose doesn't like it, but Daddy and Leilani, you like I prosciutto too, turkey so. turkey in there. Turkey? Yeah. Interesting, all right, let's forge on and we'll figure it out. Come on, let's find the prosciutto. I think it's over here, sis. Boom. Real deal prosciutto de Parma, aged 18 months. You please put it in your cart. Now, this is some of the best prosciutto you can get. Why? It's not domestic American pr uh, prosciutto. It's from Parma, Italy, the home of prosciutto de Parma. It's aged 18 months in Parma, Italy. GMOs are out loud. So this is non-GMO, real deal prosciutto, and my friends, Go to any grocery store, you will pay $20 to $25 a pound. It's $14.50 a pound, and the price has actually gone up. It's been a little cheaper in the past. I love this, it's so good. Um, pro tip, when you are running out of bacon, you wanna try something different, put this on a sheet tray, flat, and bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for eight minutes. Crispy prosciutto is one of the best things ever. And this on top of our tuna sandwich is gonna be amazing. It's cold here, let's move on. Okay, here we go. Now, you need something fresh and sour to go with this sandwich. You have two choices. My favorite fermented sauerkraut or these pickles. I think today I'm gonna go for Grillo's pickles. I'm relatively new to trying Grillo's. I think it was like six months ago I tried it. Unbelievable, this price is half price from any grocery store. Now, if you wanted to, as a side, this would be great or you can top your sandwich with it. I've talked about it many times, but this sauerkraut, is half price of any grocery store. Are we seeing a theme here? Everything is at least half price from a grocery store. So yes, Costco membership costs something, but if you use it, my God, you're saving serious money compared to the grocery store. But the reason why I like this, there's no vinegar in this sauerkraut. Vinegar is not a bad thing, but because of that, it's a natural fermentation product. There's billions of bacteria in here that are incredibly gut friendly. Whoa, where? Hey, girlfriend, how'd you end up there? Oh, here, Rose, take this. I end up there. Put that in there. I want some crispy pickles on the side. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> oh, we'll be back. Okay, we're going to call someone to clean this up ASAP. But you dropped it very high in the cart. We're getting the pickles. They're Bobby approved. They're crispy. There's garlic that, pieces in there. That's They're delicious. Story, guys. Do a what? That's a great story, guys. You dropped it up from a very, very high story. I feel like the bread selection has gotten even bigger here at Costco, and obviously you need a bread if you're gonna make a tuna melt sandwich. I'm gonna use my favorite keto bread at home, I'll show you later on, but I have to give you a Costco option. If your Costco has Ezekiel bread, it's usually in the freezer section, get it, that's the best you can do. I haven't seen it in mine in ages. A lot of people go for this, and this is probably still one of the better bed breads here, Dave's, and he has the amazing logo there with him doing his Adonis-like guitar playing. My only issue, is the amount of sugar. I love that it's organic uh, grains and seeds here, but see cane sugar in that long, long list of ingredients? It's five grams of added cane sugar per slice. So if you make a sandwich, you're talking 10 grams of sugar, which is two and a half teaspoons of added sugar just from the bread, that's too much. They do make a couple Bobby approved ones. I forgot the name, but it's in a red bag and it has one gram of sugar per. Um, still, for Costco, it's not bad compared to the others. And this is decent because I like sprouted grain bread. The only problem with the angelic one 
is that it's not organic sprouted grains and for some reason they put natural flavor in there. Uh, besides that, it's not terrible. So I'd still say these are two of the better options in the wall of bread. Actually, way back behind all of us in the fridge section, if you get the outer aisle cauliflower thins, those would be the best. You can't quite make a traditional uh, tuna sandwich out of that, which is why I'm gonna default to my base culture keto bread at home. All right, Rose, do we have everything we need? Yep, all right, let's go home, make some tuna melt sandwiches because we are hungry for lunch. We have more videos, Anyone make more videos? <laughs> Mayo, give me a big scoop of mayonnaise here, Rose. No. <laughs> no. It's the Costco avocado oil mayonnaise. That's the stone ground mustard, but Dijon works too. No, I think I use a bit. A little bit? <laughs> easy, easy, girlfriend. A little bit of salt. Thank you. <laughs> Rosie. I have to do that. You, Daddy doesn't love when you do that. I don't have the casita from Encanto who cleans itself, Rosie. Are you covering your eyes? No. That's what happens when you... Rosie got sprayed one time back in the old days and now she's protects herself ever since. Tamari soy sauce. Just adds a little bit of that fermented flavor. That's I like super... this. You like this? No. No, it's so yummy. It's umame. Hmm? A little splash of toasted sesame oil. Capers. Capers. Let me cut it. You want to cut it? Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. The capers are nice because they have that salty, briny flavor. Super yummy. And we'll take a little splash of the brine in there, too. What's it taste like? Maple syrup. Maple syrup? <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. I see. Let's check it for seasoning. Bye, Daddy. Because we want to make sure it tastes really yummy. It's really good. It's acidic, but you want that because it's going to cut through all the um, blandness of the tuna. I love that. You love it? I love it too. How much, Daddy? All of it. Why, Daddy? Uh, why? <laughs> We're officially in the why phase right now. Uh, because we want to dress all of the tuna. I'll start. Whoa, perfect timing. I was just crushing that dressing. Look at that. We're going to put the entire recipe uh, on flavecity.com. I'll put the link in this video post. That looks amazing. I think it looks amazing too, Rose, honey. Okay, we'll put a layer of the prosciutto di parma down, some of the creamy tuna on top, and some cheese. Add some olive oil to the griddle, and then trust me on this one, a little bit of salt, some pepper, and then when I put the sandwich down, the seasoning sears into the crust. It offers a lot of flavor. We'll let it go for a few minutes. Let's flip the sandwich. Perfect. Nice and crispy. You can see the seasoning stuck to the crust now. There we go. It's time to eat. Are you doing thumbs up while you're eating? Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Rose. Mm, a little kiki milk to wash it down. So that's it. Make the recipe. Rose and I will put it in the link down below. But that is it. And we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. <laughs> Later. <laughs>